Hi, and welcome to the channel. My name is Stas, and this is the very first episode of Lava Trades. Here, I want to talk about stocks and different kind of investment opportunities that I'm in, and I'll tell you exactly which stocks I'm looking at. And what I'm looking for is stocks that have the potentials to erupt, have the, the, the future outlook that people just believe in and the company is just on this up and up and eventually just erupts. So without further ado, the first, the very first stock that started all for me, and I'm sure a lot of people that haven't invested into it yet and are thinking about investing is Tesla. Should I invest in Tesla right now? I mean, the stock right now is at $816.12. And today's President's Day. Should I invest in it? It is, in a lot of people's eyes, it's completely overvalued. It's completely um, overpriced. People think it's a bubble. Uh, Michael Burry, shut your mouth. No one cares about what you got to say. I think it is not overvalued. I actually think every time Tesla was at 200, 100, even at $30, people are like, wait a minute, they don't, they don't have anything. It is, in my opinion, it is not overvalued. I think that this stock is going to keep going up. And why? Is it because of a technology? Is it because their batteries are better? Well, yeah, their batteries are going to be better. They're already very good, but they're going to be even better. Their cars are going to be better. Their solar business is going to go up and up. But the biggest reason why I'm investing in it is, of course, because of their CEO, because of Elon. I'm 100% on board. So Tesla, yes, definitely bullish. Now, let's keep moving. What else? Um, the next stop... Um, on our list, the CCIV. What do I think about CCIV? What is CCIV? CCIV, Churchill Capital. Churchill Capital is going to merge or, or it's speculative. Like people don't really know if it is going to become lucid. Is it going to become lucid? We don't know. But if it is, this is my second favorite stock. And I'm uh, just a disclaimer. I'm heavily invested already because of everything that I've seen so far. It says it looks like Lucid is going to be uh, merging, reverse merging as a SPAC into CCIV. Do I like Lucid? I love Lucid. I love the way that their cars look. The CEO is the man. Every time I listen to him, I believe what he's saying. I think it's it's going to happen. Like You don't have to imagine too much. They already have a production facility. They're growing their production facility. Do I think people will buy Lucid Air? Yes. Anyways, let's move on. So CCIV definitely... Thumbs up. Definitely a good one for me. I love it. Um, do your own research, of course. But I do think CCIV, if it is indeed going to merge with Lucid, that stock's going to skyrocket. If it doesn't, it's probably going to go back down to like $7 and I'm going to be really sad. But it does look like it's going to happen. Let's keep moving. Next on the list is Fisker. I like Fisker. I am not as bullish on it as I am, of course, on Lucid. <laughs> Definitely not like Tesla. But I do like what they have so far. I do like their little SUV, the ocean. I don't really like their marketing. I don't think it's amazing. The the, the guy, um, Fisker, the, the actual designer, has done that BMW that was for the James Bond BMW, and I did like it. I did drive it at one point. But yeah, I, I do think they have potential. If I was to put it in, in terms of percentage of their success, how how... I think they have about a 40% shot at succeeding. So I'm watching their stock and I do think it's going to go up. So I am mostly, I'm not in it yet, but I do think that I'm going to uh, recalibrate some of my positions and I am going to buy in a little bit because I do think that Fisker is a little bit undervalued. It's already available, FSR on the market right now. Um, and as I'm uh, recording this, it's at $18.99, about $19.00. My personal target is going to be in the mid-20s in the next couple weeks. So I do think it's going to go up. Next, of course, of course, I got to talk about NEO. I'm very impressed with NEO. Why is NEO very impressive? Because they are. I I think a lot of people in their last presentation, I, I saw a bunch of people talking about how they, uh, they didn't come out with the news that everybody was waiting for in their last announcement and how it's kind of overvalued, but I don't think so. I think they're gonna have um, a really successful uh, outlook. I think they're gonna have a really successful future, specifically in China. There's some talks of them coming to US. I don't know if that's gonna be a good move for them because I think they should double down in China. There's 
plenty of people with money that would love to have uh, the Neo cars. I follow some people on uh, that, that do only reviews on Neo and they love it. The battery swapping situation, even though as a customer, I would love, that's one of the biggest reasons why I do like this company is because they take chances and they have this, um, they have this outlook that customer is first. And I, and I love that. I love the idea that for me as a customer, I can go in and I can, I don't have to buy the battery. I can buy the car and then the battery comes after, like I can basically rent the battery. And for me as a person that understands the battery technologies, the way that I do, and I'm in the world of electronics, batteries, lithium ion batteries, I do think that the idea that I don't have to buy the battery and I can just rent the battery, it's huge for me. And it's not really, as an investor, it's not really that good because if you look at the numbers and you listen to Tesla daily when he talks about these battery swapping, he's got a point, uh, these battery swapping stations, he's got a point and I think that it's not very lucrative for the company to have those. But for, for as a customer, I think it's a great uh, opportunity and I think it gives me confidence as a customer. And customers are the ones that are shelling out the money. So yes, I'm very bullish uh, in Tesla, I or in I'm sorry, in Neo, and I do have Neo as my um, as an investment, and I've I've been in it since they were in the low 30s. Even before that, I was investing in Neo. Okay, so let's keep moving. That's good tea, amazing tea. Okay, next one that I'm invested in, and I am looking for like like a hawk is a, is, a, is actually. Um, SPAC. And I'll actually talk about this uh, special purpose acquisition company. Uh, I'm going to talk about this in a separate video because I'm going to make a video that, at the SPACs that I'm looking at specifically uh, right now. And this is going to be one of them. So this is ACTC. ACTC is going to become Proterra. I think all the news are out. I mean, if you go to ArcLightClean, um, ArcLightClean.com, you will see right there on their website, Proterra and in EV industry pioneer focus on revolutionizing commercial vehicle electrification to become a public company. So this is pretty cool. They also use very similar batteries to what Tesla is using. They already have the modules and this is for buses. This is for bigger vehicles. I think they already have a head start. I think this is a very exciting play specifically for the, um, the buses, the public transportation, and the biggest reason why I like this company is because of their battery infrastructure. And so I am invested in it and I am looking for this company to actually go up quite significantly and, um, you know, become a dominant player in the EV world. Next is a little bit of a controversial one. It's um, AYRO. And AYRO, when I first, uh, it became, it got on my radar, I said to myself, AYRO, AERO. I got to invest in it because at the university at Michigan State where I went, we had a bunch of these little golf carts everywhere. And they were all, not all of them, but majority of them. And I drove one because I worked at a printing services. So we would deliver printing stuff um, from one place to another. And it was all either di it was gas or diesel or something like that. It was definitely not clean because you could, you could smell it. Some of them were uh, battery powered. They were really cool. They were fun to drive on campus. So Aero... They do some really cool stuff. They have this really cool uh, club car that will do this last mile delivery. It is street legal. It's not available for sale yet. Um, and they have this other car that is the 311 that I don't like. I don't, I wouldn't invest in that. But the 411, I am pretty excited about. They've hooked up with club car, the brand to make the 411. I'm pretty excited about it. My only reservation, my only reservation why I am not full out investing when the dip came just a few days ago, I was sitting there going, bye, mm, bye, mm. let me check one thing. And what is that one thing? What batteries are you using? What batteries, what, if you're so green, what batteries? And I look there and what batteries do I see? Not lithium polymer, not lithium ion, not lipo. Nope, they're using lead acid batteries for 8.6 kilowatt hour uh, battery, which to me says, why? Why would you do that? Why would you use that? And 
I'm not sure. I'm not sure why they would do that. If they're such a future uh, forward looking company and the CEO is from Segway, what are you doing? I'm not sure. What are you doing? So as soon as they make that announcement and I did hear that they are going to go and switch out because the electronics, the inverters and everything, the 72 volts, they can do the inversion. They can do, they can transition to lithium, uh, polymer, lithium ion, um, even the, um, what is that battery I'm thinking of? The, the iron, uh, I'll put it on the bottom here, but they can definitely make the switch. And as soon as they switch to lithium batteries, I'm in. I'm 100% in because I do think there's a lot of people that are going to be really into this truck. Another a small thing about it is I do think that they're a little bit expensive right now, but they are pre-production, so maybe the price will come down. Um, maybe the price and the reason why they're not doing lithium is, you know, correlated. It's already $22,000 for basically a golf cart, okay? I don't know. I'm not sure. So those are my two reservations, but they are, this is heavily on my radar and I'm looking at it very hard. Okay. Thank you so much for watching. This is my uh, first video of EV uh, stocks, EV plays that I'm looking at very, very seriously. So if you'd like, subscribe to my channel. I've got more videos coming. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to my channel and I'll talk to you soon. Peace.